Um, we'll call the court to order for this uh, special meeting of the Pike County Fiscal Court. Uh, at this time, I'd like to ask Commissioner Brian Booth if he would say the invocation. Dear Lord, we come before you today, dear Heavenly Father. Oh, Lord, watch over us, dear Heavenly Father. We do all the right decisions for this county, dear Heavenly Father, and watch over all those that are sick today, dear Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Judge Jones. Present. Commissioner Robertson. Here. Commissioner Tack. Here. Commissioner Booth. Here. We have a quorum. We are ready to proceed. And I would like to ask uh, Pike County Attorney Kevin Keene if he would lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First item on the agenda is uh, authorization for an application for a Kentucky Ambulance Block Grant program application for fiscal year uh, July, 20, July 1st, 2021 to June 30th, 2022. In approval for the Pike County Judge Executive to execute all related documents. I'd like to yield to Commissioner Brian Booth for action on this matter. Yeah, Judge, I'd like to make a motion that we go ahead and give this grant to Appalachian First Response. Uh, for this $10,000 application. All right. Uh, we have a motion before the court to authorize uh, filing of this application for the Kentucky Ambulance Block Grant for the 2021-2022 fiscal year for Appalachian First Response. Is there a second to this motion? Second. We have a second by Commissioner Tack. Is there any other question or discussion? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Robertson? Yes. Commissioner Tackett? Yes. Commissioner Booth? Yes. Judge Jones? Yes. I would like to point out that this grant is, uh, we have three ambulance services in Pike County. Last year, this grant went to uh, the Pikeville Fire and EMS uh, to help with their ambulance service, and we want to make sure that we are uh, uh, treating all of the ambulance services here in the county fairly. So this year, uh, we will be submitting the application again on behalf of Appalachian First Response in uh, Mr. Bill Ball and Mr. Jerry Hurley. So that's just to clarify that. Uh, next item is authorization to purchase a mechanic truck. I'd like to yield to Commissioner uh, Ronnie Robertson for action on this item. Yes, Judge. Uh, this first part of the week, we went over and looked at a mechanic's truck. Our mechanic's truck that we've got over there in, in, in the garage uh, right now, uh, the body, the bed's about eat off of it. It's a hard time to keep tools in it. Sometimes we've lost some tools out of it. Uh, we went and looked at this mechanic's truck and uh, it's in real good shape and I think it'll last the county for a long time, no more. I mean, we're not driving this truck to Prestonburg every day or Huntington or, you know, Charleston or Lexington. Uh, this truck would serve our needs uh, real good, I think. It's got the hydraulic type air compressor on it. It's got a five ton boom on it. Uh, the tires are in real good shape on it. The bed is in excellent shape on it. And uh, I think it'd be a good investment for us on this truck here to keep from having to buy a new one. If you're looking to buy a new one, I think we're looking like 35,000 Reggie for a good used one or more. And uh, this truck will, this truck will do us good, I think, Judge. Has anyone from the uh, maintenance garage done a pre-buy inspection on this vehicle? Yes, I took uh, JJ with me and uh, Rick, one of the uh, chief mechanics over there. They went with us when we looked at this truck. We spent probably two hours looking at this truck. And what was their recommendation? What was their recommendation or opinion, I should say? They, they thought it would be a good truck for the garage and uh, it serviced their needs a little bit better than what the one's doing now. If we were to... If we were to buy a new truck with a crane and air compressor as this truck's equipped, what would we be looking at in terms of cost? Uh, yeah, I'd say a hundred, a hundred and some thousand. All right. Do you have a motion on this matter? Because we'll need to know. I would like to mo make a motion to purchase this truck for the county garage. So here's what we need to do, though. We need to, the motion probably needs to state the amount of the purchase 
and who we're purchasing it from and the make and model of the truck and also uh, authorize the county treasurer to issue payment for the for the uh, purchase okay the the, the sum of the truck is fifteen thousand dollars okay and who is it being purchased from he was a former mechanic over at our garage years ago um, I'm not, I'm, I don't know his name really. Well, we need that information for the. Will we not, Frankie? For the. I think I think uh, Darren can give it to you over at the garage. We need it for purpose of the motion, probably though, because who we're for the purpose of the motion, we need to know the amount and who we're buying it from and the make and model. And it, this truck is a. It's got around seventy thousand miles, and that's actual mileage on this truck. Can we just take a recess and call Darren and get that information because. Uh, Let's just let's just take a recess and Reggie, can you? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. And the reason we're doing this meeting today is this application for the ambulance service has to be submitted by the uh, end of the day, or actually by the thirty-first. So we'll just pass over this deal on the mechanics truck, and we have a, uh, and we'll just let uh, Commissioner Robertson restate that motion on. Tuesday, if that's okay with everybody. That'd be fine. All right. All right. The next item is uh, awarding of bids with Mr. Greg Fan. Fabian, can you come on up real quick too? Because you probably need to give the court members a uh, an update on the number of vehicles that we had out of service yesterday. Just carry on. I'll be right back. All right. I do have a couple of things, Judge. I was able to locate another F-350 diesel truck that met the specs of our last bid package. Uh, as you recall, we did a bid package for six trucks. Uh, we got one bid. It was for just for two trucks. Uh, once that happens, according to KRS statute, it allows us to do a non-competitive negotiation to be able to buy four trucks. I have located another truck. It's at uh, Sarconi Ford in Randolph, Ohio. I've talked to them several times. Uh, this truck is, um, the other two trucks we, we bought, we paid $44,945 each for them. This truck is priced uh, $45,161. It's $116 more than the other two that we bought. But this is a 2021 truck. The other two trucks were 2020s. Uh, it has uh, several other options that the other trucks didn't have. Um, one of the things that stood out to me is this truck already has a spray-in bed liner in it. Uh, the other two trucks that we purchased, I think we have sent them to put spray-in bed liners in it. They cost about $500 a piece. Uh, uh, this truck also has the STX appearance package on it, which is an $1,825 option, as well as some other things. It does have the snow plow prep package on it. It does meet the specs of... Um, that we put out in the bid package and be right, my recommendation that we purchase this truck from Sarconi Ford and Randolph, Ohio for $45,061 and also uh, approval for the treasurer to write a check to pay for it when they deliver it. This is the only other truck we've been able to buy to meet the specs? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I can say this, that, you know, we prefer to buy local. The other two we bought from Walters, they can't get the trucks. Uh, I've talked to Bruce, and he has got trucks on order, but he cannot give us a time frame when they're going to have them. Um, Fabian, and I think this is something the court needs to be aware of. I'm not sure that the members, uh, two members of the court were out. We're in Frankfurt. I don't know if Commissioner Booth went, but uh, we're down in Frankfurt meeting with Senator Philip Wheeler and the other members of our legislative delegation. Uh, regarding the uh, different matters, including uh, water line extensions and the uh, ATV trail uh, system and legislation that's pending. And um, they, they just got back into town yesterday, I guess it was. Uh, we'll let them give us an update on their meetings in Frankfurt here. But before we do that, uh, yesterday evening, uh, our road supervisor, Mr. Little, uh, we uh, I followed back up with him on the number of vehicles that we had out of service. Fabian, would you just give the court an update on the number of snow removal vehicles that we had out of service as of yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Well, yesterday we had nine. 
we had nine total plow trucks that were uh, down. Seven of those were put back on the road and two of them are still currently being worked on. So, I mean, you know, and I'm gonna go back to what I said. When this court came in, we had major problems and the first thing we had to address was solid waste. And we've pretty much addressed that. We put roughly 17 new vehicles on the road. Next year, we're gonna to have to buy a new packer for them. We're gonna to have to start you know, making annual investments instead of wait until this stuff just falls completely apart. In, in my opinion, for, for years, the equipment on the road lots were neglected. Uh, you know, you, you were using excavators that were 20 plus years old. A lot of these pickup trucks have just completely rusted. You know, we've got six wheel dump trucks that the floor pans are rusted out in. Yeah. Um, and we're starting to replace the, the road department equipment. Um, so just to update everybody, we have bought three new excavators. We've bought a new paver and roller. We've bought a jetter that's on the way. I'm not sure. Uh, we bought uh, six. We purchased six new Mack dump trucks uh, this year for the road department and um, a larger uh, excavator that, that uh, was purchased at auction last year. So we're, we're trying to replace some of the aging equipment, but the biggest problem right now we have, I would think, are the pickups. And we probably still have another month and a half to two months of, of, of uh, potential snow uh, related uh, weather conditions that, that may come up. And right now I'm concerned that if we do have a significant snow event that we're not gonna be able to clean these roads with the equipment that we have. No, that's accurate. We, I mean, w with uh, the bigger snowfalls, um, the reason we were able to, uh, the, yesterday we were, actually had nothing. I mean, it was it was really nothing, but we still have to run the roads, check them, because there's still some salty spots. And I mean, the salts that need, spots that need salted. But even at that, I had to pull two other crews over to help another crew just to get all the roads, you know, ran. If this would have been a bigger event, event I wouldn't have been able to do that. Uh, it just the way it worked out yesterday. I mean, it was okay, but yeah, we're definitely we're uh, we're kind of in a pickle on our on our equipment. Well, if you if you go back to the to the Belcher Road lot that services all Feds Creek, Elkhorn, um, you know, over into Coon Creek and areas, you know, Commissioner Roberts and I had some people that were upset, but we had three of the vehicles, three of the snow removal vehicles on that one lot that were either uh, were down for repairs that went down after uh, this, after they went out and tried to start the uh, Christmas uh, snow um, uh, removal uh, process for, the, for the, the snow we had. And that wasn't even a major snow. I mean, it was only four or five inches of snow. So we've got to replace these trucks. And I would ask if there is a motion to well, Greg, when, if we buy this truck from uh, from this dealership in Ohio, when can we have it? First of next week. Okay. Um, is there a motion to purchase this F three fifty diesel pickup from Sarconi Ford in Randolph, Ohio, for the price of forty five thousand sixty one dollars? Um, in approval of the county treasurer to issue payment for the same. Motion. We have a motion by Commissioner Robertson. Is there a second? Second. We have a second by Commissioner Tackett. Any other questions or discussion? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Robertson? Yes. Commissioner Tackett? Yes. Commissioner Booth? Yes. Judge Johnson? Yes. Also, uh, it would be my motion that we purchase a, another solder and plow from Owens Truck Equipment for the uh, previously approved bid price of $10,195 under bid number 03-2021 uh, with the option to um, upgrade that blade to a polycarbonate blade for an additional, how much was it, Greg? $280. $280. Even with that additional of the uh, polycarbonate blade, it would still be the lowest bid, uh, lower than either of the other two bids. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So that would be my motion that we go ahead and order the solder and spreader and uh, authorize the county treasurer to uh, make payment for the same. 
Is there a second? Second. We have a second by Commissioner Robertson. Any other question or discussion? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Robertson? Yes. Commissioner Tackett? Yes. Yeah. Commissioner Booth? Yes. Judge Johnson? Yes. Um, the other matter that, uh, Mr. Stacey, do you have anything treasurer's business, sir? All right. We do have need for executive session, but I'm going to go ahead and move through some of the other portions of the agenda simply because of, uh, so we can get our staff and management staff back to work. I'm not sure how long this executive session is going to take. Um, hopefully not too long. So we're going to start out. Mr. Fan, you have any other business to come before the court, sir? Mr. Spears, anything from the safety uh, director's office? Uh, Mr. Morley, anything from Solid Way, sir? All right. Ms. Vanover, anything from finance? All right. And Ms. Uh, Clevenger, anything from Solid Waste Administration? Mr. Little, anything else you'd like to address, sir? Colonel Downey, anything from Assistant County Attorney's position? Um, I, I, I made some changes to that. Did they put it back on your desk yesterday? I made one. I made one change to that contract um, that needs to be uh, amended. If you want to have them while we're in executive session to send that up here, um, it does need one one change on it. So, okay. Now, before we go uh, to the county attorney's office and to the uh, deputy judge executive. The court, Lisa, did approve the uh, amendment to the lease between the county and um, the RH group, actually it's Brushy Development Company, regarding the property at the, uh, above the uh, landfill, is that correct? Well, just do this, while we're out, just pull that court order and make sure that we approve the uh, amendments to the leases for that property, the Scott Fort property. I'm thinking we did. I just want to make sure. I know we talked about it. I don't know if we took a vote on it. That's what I was trying. The court meeting, or it was a yes. Okay, so we did authorize it. Okay, that's right. Two court meetings ago. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I know we talked about it. I just couldn't remember if we had actually had an action on it. So I'm going to go ahead and sign these two leases uh, that we have previously approved. And uh, Mr. Downey, uh, if you would, or I tell you what, Jeannie, if you could get these over to the uh, respective uh, parties on this. And this relates back to the uh, lease, or actually the uh, quick claim deed that we've received for the mineral and surface impacted uh, by the landfill expansion that we need for, the, uh, for that uh, permit application. Jenny, I'm going to go ahead and sign this application also for the uh, grant application so we can get that out, okay?
Kevin, I'm going to get you. Would you proofread these for us also just to make sure there's nothing that I've missed on these or that Roy's missed? Not that we don't trust Colonel Downey, but. Sharon, what is this letter? Sharon's not in here. What is this one for? Okay, gotcha. That's fine. All right. Um, Mr. Keene, anything from the county attorney's office? All right. Judge Hickman, anything, sir? All right. This time I would entertain a motion to enter into executive session. Motion. Motion by Commissioner Tackett. Is there a second? Second by Commissioner Booth. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Robertson? Yes. Commissioner Tackett? Yes. Commissioner Booth? Yes. Judge Johnson? Yes. Well, I'm sorry. Let's, oh, let's withdraw that motion. That's my bad. <laughs> Mr. King, would you please state the uh, relevant provisions of the uh, Kentucky Revised Statutes related to open meetings laws uh, for prior to entry into executive session? And so the people that's watching this understands what we've done as a formality we do have to reflect the provisions of krs which we're going into executive session under that's krs uh, 61 810 subsection c to discuss pending litigation all right uh is there a motion to enter into executive session motion, motion by commissioner tackett second by commissioner booth madam clerk please call the roll commissioner robertson yes commissioner tackett yes Commissioner Booth? Yes. Judge Jones? Yes. We are in, we'll be in recess for executive session and return at the college here. All right. We'll call the court back to order and uh, we'll call the. Uh, uh, is there a motion to adjourn from executive session? Motion. Motion by Commissioner Tackett. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Booth. Is there any other questions or discussion? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Robertson? Yes. Commissioner Tackett? Yes. Commissioner Booth? Yes. Judge Jones? Yes. Um, any commissioner's comments today? Commissioner Robertson, I'll start with you. I have none, Judge. Uh, you want to update us briefly on what happened? I know Commissioner Booth, let's just, we can get an update on what happened in Frankfurt Tuesday. Would that be better? That would be fine. Okay. Commissioner Tack, anything? No. Commissioner Booth? No. All right, I don't have anything uh, further today, and we have our first meeting for February. It's hard to believe we're already into February. We'll hope to, uh, have updated numbers next Tuesday with regard to uh, the COVID uh, pandemic and an update from the commissioners on the uh, status of the uh, ATV trails le legislation in Frankfurt. Uh, with that being said, I'd ask Commissioner Booth to say the benediction and then we'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Dear Lord, once again, dear Heavenly Father, as we come before you, Lord, uh, watch over us as we travel to our homes today. Watch over us while we're out working today, dear Heavenly Father, and while we're on the highway, dear Lord. And, Lord, uh, watch over all the sick and afflicted and watch over our country, dear Heavenly Father, and our little county. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion. Motion by Commissioner Tackett. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Robertson. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Robertson? Yes. Commissioner Tackett? Yes. Commissioner Booth? Yes. Judge Jones? Yes, we are adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>